What's up, everybody? So we just had the best. I mean, it was the most fun trip to Walmart. God is good. God is good. We uh, we came out here. We were doing some Christmas shopping for the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, got ourselves a babysitter, and you know, the whole you know just being walking out who you are, like in the gospel, and and just being a son or a daughter of the Lord, man. And you carry the presence of God everywhere you go. And I think it's so important for us to be mindful of that instead of just getting uh, sidetracked with the mundane things of life and forgetting who you are, man. There's so many people out there that, that need a touch from God. They need, you know, they would love to see Jesus and the Jesus that's inside of you is like waiting to touch people. We ran into Virginia. Virginia. First of all, before we, we, uh, before we, we went to your line, we were like, all right, which line should we go to? And then both of our eyes went to seven. And then, and so we came over here. <laughs> so tell them what happened. We came to your register and yes. usually, you said usually, usually what? Usually I'm cold natured. My hands are cold, uh -huh. my feet are cold. And I'm just and as warm. Soon, as soon as we and came. And I got goosebumps when I said the word warm. You did. And all the hairs on the back of my neck, no lie, is standing it's up. Standing up. And your yes. hands are unusually warm. Yes. And did we say anything? Did we pray for you or anything? Uh, we didn't. We just walked up, right? Yeah. It was just. <laughs> that it's like is. My, I, I'm not exaggerating. I, I got goosebumps. Your your whole body's like body. tingling, right? Yes. That is so good. Woo. Jesus, but, He's Lord, uh, right? Yes. And oh my gosh, do you see him on my face? I do. Oh. You're being overwhelmed right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> Do you feel like, um, is it like, like joy? Yes. Like soup. Like you just took it something to make like you the happy. More I talk, it starts. It's like a yeah, it's yeah. going over and over. <laughs> Dude, that's yeah. so good, man. Amen. Yeah. Well, may that warmth stay with you the rest of the day. Thank you. And that Same joy. Right back to In you. Jesus' name. The best one I have to say was when we walked up to the register, we we had like a choice of like three or four registers, and Katie's like, "Hey, you know which register should we go to?" I said, "Ask the Lord which register." Was and I was like in? seven, and she saw seven, and, I and saw we seven in my mind. Oh my so gosh! Crazy. So we go there, and we're waiting in line, and then finally we get up to the register, and I kept. I kept hearing arthritis or her hands hurt for some reason. I just assumed, I heard her hands hurt. And so what I assumed was arthritis, but so I asked her and she said, she's like, no, I don't have arthritis, at least not yet. And I said, no, you won't get arthritis. She's like, but what is weird is like, my hands stay cold. I mean, they stay cold all the time. And for some reason they're, warm right now and yeah. I started to laugh I was like oh my goodness we that hadn't is so said anything. fun we hadn't prayed for her nothing just us walking up to her and being in presence with her this these cold hands that she always warm. struggles with were warm <laughs> as heck and she's like I don't understand this is so weird she's like I don't understand why my hands are so warm that was so fun and she it just kept and then she's like man my whole body's tingling she's like I just feel like this like happy joy and I was like that is she's like wow she's like the more i talk about it the 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 more it happens the more it's getting so man that was the best we didn't have to say a word we were just we were just walking in the anointing man and god just shifted the atmosphere he knew exactly what she wanted it wasn't about what we said it was about him knowing and us being a be walking in that in that sonship and that being a daughter of the lord so man just be blessed we want to encourage you man we're not you know like sitting here boasting we're just we're just trying to encourage you yeah and there was one more good nugget that came from that that exchange with her name was regine she was planning on going to church tomorrow with her daughter and she never gets to go to church because she usually works sundays well right before sergio and i had approached her she had just agreed to work sunday tomorrow she'd been asked to work and she agreed to do it just because she needed the money she's just in a position where she needed the money so she was having, she had plans to go to church and all of a sudden couldn't go and she never gets to go. And then lo and behold, Sergio and I, unbeknownst to us, the Lord says, go to Cashier 7. And we go to Cashier 7 and without us even initiating ministry to this woman, the presence of the Holy Spirit overtook her. So church came to her yes. at work. 
just when she had found out she wasn't going to physically get to go to church tomorrow. So manifest the goodness of God, no matter what. Um, you just never know how deep yeah, and how why. We, just kept we seeing saw them. like five people with walking boots. Man, it was, it was crazy. Like the reunion <laughs> of people with walking boots. Yeah, so I, man, I just started getting bold and I was like, hey, what happened to your foot? And, you know, they would tell me and, and I'd say, man, it's going to be great. Let me pray for it, man. I've seen God do so many amazing things. Take two seconds, five seconds. And the girl was like, yeah, that's fine. And so I prayed for the first one and I asked her, I was like, hey, can you feel for the pain? She's like, well, it didn't really hurt, you know, when I, before you prayed. And, and she said basically her foot was fused together, like they had fused her foot together. She had, she had no range of motion. And I told her, I said, you know what, God is, he's fixing that. And when you get home to test your, test your foot out, and I said, and thank God, when you, when you see that you can move your foot, I was like, just look up and thank him. She's like, oh, I thank him every day. So the second one, I kept running into this girl and, and, and seeing her, but I didn't see anything. And God has a way, man. He'll, if he wants you to say something to them, he will set it up to where you will keep running into them. So we ran into this lady like four times. And finally, he had her to where she was like right behind me and then went down the, 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 the aisle. And I said, okay, I have to say something. So I did. And she had told me she had surgery and uh, we got to pray for it. You could tell when I, when I asked to pray for it, she was kind of like, uh, right? <laughs> like, what are you doing? So I just prayed and I just said, hey, bless you. You know, Jesus loves you. And we walked away and then we went down the aisle and we seen this other girl and her name was Zan. We asked her, um, she, she was in the military and she was really sweet. She was like, yeah, she was like open. Her, her eyes started to well up with tears already. And she was saying, I can't run, like it's over, you know? And she had surgery and basically they had to do another surgery. And man, we just asked if we could pray. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as we prayed, man, this is, the, I'll show you in the video uh, after this, uh, we, we got to record a little bit of it. Uh, she was like, oh my gosh, like my foot's like tingling and that feels so weird. Can you say that one more time? He prayed for my foot, and the pain went down. Like that is so good. Does it still feel tingly right now? It's warm now. Like it's, it's so. Now. So would you? Was there something that you couldn't do before? That yes, I can't run. So obviously, I don't. I don't want you to try to run here. Oh, no. But I believe when you go home to take off your, you know, your little boot, yeah. and to try to test it out. Like I said, I, I believe. He touched you, and he made everything that the doctors did wrong, he made it right, because he loves you. That's right, Zan? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, you so much. Thank you. You too. That's crazy. That's so good, man. <laughs> Katie got a, a word, and I just, I wanted to get my camera out, but, you know, it was just one of those things. It was real intimate. She, Katie got a word, and can you share a little bit what? Sure. The Lord just told me that there was this hurt and pain that had happened to her and how the enemy was using it to hurt her more and to keep her from promises and from just walking the gospel out. She's mighty for the Lord, and she has a calling on her life. And, and when I told her that the Lord, you know, had revealed those things, I asked her if she was ready to get rid of that hurt and that pain so that she could be free from it. And she was absolutely wanting that. So um, I put my hand on her with her permission. And Sergio and I just stood and prayed um, that it come off of her, that the pain leave her. And by her own confession, that she was releasing that to the Lord so that she could be free of it. Um, and when the Lord reveals, He heals, and by her own desire, expressed desire, she's, she wanted to be free from it. So, there you go. She was free from it instantly, and, and I could just see this weight falling off of her, the chains coming off of her. And then the Lord literally showed me a visual picture of Him picking her up like an adult does their child. The, you know, we go underneath the armpits and we scoop our child up and we lift them up from underneath the armpits, and I just saw the Lord's hands literally she was in this quicksand and she was trying to get traction in like this quagmire and just couldn't get any traction and the lord was literally putting his hands like a father underneath her arms right here like we do our children and lifting her up out of there and saying no not anymore and setting her firm feet on firm ground and i just shared all of that with her and she was just nodding her head the whole time she's like oh my gosh yes i agree yes absolutely that she is was like, I needed that. she was like i needed to hear this so bad she said i have been going through so much and the lord just wanted me 
you to share that with her and encourage her that with this new year coming, it's a new season. And for her to be free from all these things that were tormenting her and that he has plans to give her a hope and a future and that she has calling in her life, like ministry calling. Wow. So it felt great to, to hear from the Lord and get confirmation that we're hearing from the Lord and to see it bless people, to just see their countenance change. Somebody. Everywhere and you go is an opportunity to, to love people. Everywhere you go, there's people everywhere. So, you know, a lot of times people aren't going to go to the church, but the church is going to come to them because Amen. that's who we are. So be here, blessed. Right? We love you guys. Keep shining. Keep showing people the love. Yes. That's how you're going to change people. It's not about gloom and doom, turn or burn. It's about showing people the goodness of God. The goodness of God is what leads men and women to repentance. The goodness of God is what changes people. So be blessed. We love you guys.